this is the Lego Detective here, and after multiple unboxings of original Batman sets, I'm actually bringing you my first review. Though, there will be a ton more Lego Batman sets coming, as um, I actually have a lot of other sets, just missing a few minifigs, and I am going to be getting in the mail in just a few days um, a gigantic lot of Lego Batman sets, so stay tuned for that. Um, I actually have like three or four other sets just missing like a minifig or two, and um, already, and once I get those minifigs, I will be able to review all of them. But this is the only set as of now that I have every minifig and every piece for at the moment. So, we are going to be reviewing it. This is the Bat Cycle um, Harley Quinn's Hammer Truck. And surprisingly, this set is a bit more sought after than I thought it was. Like, I see a lot of people bidding on this on eBay. And I won this um, thanks to my dad because I do not have an eBay account yet. And I was actually on a, a, a school trip when he bid on this. And he won it for $50. And, of course, I had to pay him for it. But, yeah, so I'm uh, very, very glad I was able to get this really cheap. Most of the time, this set goes for much more. On BrickLink, it's around $100. This is one guy that's selling it for exactly $100. Um, but Batman's cape is missing, um, I just realized that this flick fire missile is facing the wrong direction. Um, though anyway, um, let's get started with the minifigs, and we're just gonna start, um, with Harley Quinn right here. This is an amazing minifig, um, let's see if I can focus, there we go. This is a really good minifig, the main part about this that I like is the face. Extremely accurate to Batman the Animated Series, and when you first look at this, you see, uh, like the, the sort of like the yellow, and you just assume that that's like her teeth. But actually, if you look really closely, you can see a tiny bit of red at the bottom. So her mouth is actually open, and that red is her tongue. It's kind of hard to see. There, you can kind of see it there. So it's just kind of interesting that when I received this, I actually didn't know that her mouth was actually just a little bit open. And um, what looks like her entire smile is actually just her top teeth. Um, this is the only Harley Quinn to have blue eyes. And she looks really menacing, and I really like how she uh, she looks. She does have back printing. Yes, she does. Um, no back face printing, though. And she has leg printing. But I feel like the torso uh, the torso has been surpassed by the by some, like the new superheroes one. Like, Well, it's not the new new one, but like the newer version of this from like 2012. The legs are almost exactly the same. But the face, I still feel, is the best Harley Quinn face that's out there yet. Um, she is exclusive to the set. And she's actually pretty cheap, so if you don't want to get the set, but you want the minifig, she's like 5 to $7 on BrickLink. So get her while she lasts, because she is an amazing minifig, I'll tell you that. So here's Batman, the Dark Knight suit. As you can see, my cape is really, really messed up. Um, but that's not the biggest deal. Um, you can see the printing right there. And uh, there's the face, and of course you got to have the white line going across so that he gets like the white showing through in the mask. Um, yeah, so there's Batman. Now, oh, I just broke my stand. So in each uh, Batman set, you would get uh, some accessories for Batman and some accessories for the villain. You get you would get two of these. So I'll just put those over there. You get three normal batarangs, but I, I couldn't find um, a third because I'm using them for stuff. Uh, I couldn't find some extras, but you get three normal batarangs. These we still use to get. And then we have uh, this bat cuffs, which are... Like, slightly different than the newer handcuffs, and they look much cooler because they're black. So, yeah, so you get those accessories, and then you get some accessories for the villains. But first, let's look at the Bat Cycle. So here's the Bat Cycle, and you actually might have noticed I did remove, actually, um, a tile, and this is one of my modifications, and I will show you those to you, but that actually does not come in the set. So this is how you get it, um, and a lot of the Batman vehicles have a blue sort of interior seat. But it really just doesn't work for the Bat Cycle because you can see it, the blue, from all angles. And there's not really, like, a cockpit. Like, it's just open on top, so it looks really bad in my opinion. But I'm going to be showing you some modifications to make it look better. You got the Dark Knight logo in the front. And by the way, I was lucky. I was able to get it with all of the original stickers. Though, on the Harley Quinn truck, um, two of the stickers are a bit damaged. And it's actually trying to slip off the place where I put it. Um, yeah, I'm just going to put it on the floor. The Harley Quinn truck. Um, but anyway, so we got like the motor in the front, we got the handlebars, we got the bat wings, we got these um, exhaust pipes on the back, one big wheel, and then two in the front. And I just don't like all the colors on this. Like, we have the yellow, the yellow I can deal with, but the blue just does not look good. And then we have the red. So those are some things that I would change. I would probably swap out that blue piece for like a gray or black, and then those red I would swap out for black. 
And even when you do that, it still doesn't look all that great. Um, it's way oversized for a minifig. Here's, here's Batman. Let me just uh, put him inside there. Um, and he can clip on. And he, it's kind of hard to actually get him to stand up, but he doesn't really need to stand up. It is very fun to roll this, and it is a very, very like sturdy build. Other than these wings in the back, no pieces really come off this really easily. Um, but, uh, yeah, we have the Flick Missiles, which was the first year that they made the Flick Missiles, so everyone was, like, raving about them and stuff. And, uh, it's kind of weird, because these pieces just move all over the place, so you can't really flick them that well. There we go, it was not too good. So, anyway, I'm going to be showing you right now some modifications that you can do to this. First thing, just remove the Flick Missiles right there. Um... And what you're going to do is you're just going to take them and just put them in here. And what that does is it fills up this gap. And it actually looks kind of good. And also it doesn't, the flick muscles aren't really sticking out anymore. They don't really stick out at, at, at all. Um, like they barely stick out, which is good. And uh, then just for some added detail, I'm taking these uh, sort of uh, curved pieces. And I'm just going to stick those right there just to fill up some space right there. And add some detail under there. And then I'm going to take a plate and just stick it there just so that it looks better it covers up the blue and also batman does not have to actually be standing there like i mentioned before because he's clipped onto there really securely so you don't need that um so i just put that there then i'm going to take this yellow piece and move it forward and now you can stick another minifig back there like you could have batman driving and then robin is sitting in the back or something like that then i'm going to add some plates i have some little um half pins right there that i've inserted into there and this one is offset so that it's offset by a stud so that it can go right there. So I'm just going to stick those in. Looks nice. And then do it the same on the other side. And I forgot to offset that one. Just add that in. And just to fill up some space. Then the last thing that we're going to do, we're going to take this piece off and just add a 1x2 plate underneath. And now it looks really good, and you still kind of have the flick missiles. They sort of flick down a little bit, but you can sort of just bring them out like a little bit like that, and then you still have the full functionality of, of the flick missiles. And obviously, you can just take the flick missiles. You can put them somewhere else as well. But I just this is how I like to keep the bat cycle, and it's modifications that don't really take apart the bat cycle because it is an old set. It doesn't really take the bat cycle apart, but it's uh, it just adds to it. It makes it look a bit better. Now, moving on to the hammer truck. So this hammer truck is huge. It is a gigantic vehicle. You can just see the wheels are bigger than Harley Quinn. Harley Quinn can completely go under the truck. Well, actually, nah, not completely, but pretty much she can just because these pieces won't allow her. Okay, never mind about that, but she can still go under there for the most part. And it, well, she can pass through if she's going sideways. But anyway, um, I really like this. This is really cool. Now, here's the con. These stickers go over two pieces. So... If you get this set, if you have the set right now, I don't recommend taking it apart. Because on the back, you can actually see that I have, um, let me just take this off. There's a sticker right there, and it's sort of like crumbling away. And that's just something that happens to stickers of the time. It's, and I feel like it would happen, especially on this set. Stickers from around like 2006 to 2008 um, crumble, and they sort of like flake off rather than stickers today um and stickers uh, back then and this just wants to roll everywhere um so you have to be very very careful um and i recommend actually doing a uh a part out of this set where basically you just buy the pieces that you need to make the ha the hammer truck and then what you do you get you get custom stickers and then you just take like a small exacto knife and slice them through the middle so that you have part of the sticker on each of the on on each of the two pieces that it covers. I don't recommend doing it to the original stickers since all the stickers from Batman sets in 2008 are very expensive. Um, we have like the sticker on the top right there. We have the, end, the, the motor in the front, the giant wheels, and I really love the checkerboard pattern. So yeah, other than the problem with the stickers, this is an amazing set. Um, this, this is an amazing part of the set. We have um, a little Joker car that she has taped there. We have a Hit Me sticker. And I'm like a sort of like cartoony, and I would imagine that that would be what to control the hammer. And you actually have a sticker that says "Whack a Bat" over there. You got to be careful right there because there's a hole. So if you push on it too hard, then it's gonna make a hole in there. So just be careful. But it is very fun. You just twist this. There's an axle going through, 
and you can just swing it. And it sort of, when you hit it, it sort of shakes the contents of that box, which I'll show you in a bit. So it makes a, lo a loud noise, which I think is kind of cool. We have a little seat right there for Harley Quinn, so I'm just going to sit her down in there. Um, and this little steering wheel, and you can see her out the window, like so. We have a little fin in the back. We have some more flick missiles. Wow, that was actually a really good shot. Um, actually, that was kind of funny. Let's see if I can do that again. Yeah, wow, that was that was a really nice shot. <laughs> That's kind of weird. Um, and then we have a little box which with some stuff. So you have her uh, trademark Harley Quinn hammer right there. Um, and then we have some um, accessories in here. And uh, we have some gems. We have a uh, trans clear one, a trans red, trans green, and trans light blue. We have a single pistol, like, revolver piece, and there's a hair over there. And then we get these two guns, and these would come in every Batman set. Um, now, this gun right here is actually the second version of it. This one, this gun specifically was released with the Indiana Jones line. But the version released with the Batman sets, come on, focus, actually had a bit of a shorter barrel in the front. But that piece is, like, $2 in the Indiana Jones version released with Indiana Jones sets in, like, 2008 and 2009 as well. Those are like so much cheaper and so much more common. So it's very hard to tell the difference. It's just a shorter barrel. I think I have one of these, but that's being used with another Batman set. But you can have the crystals. You can just take take them and put them in there like so and put all the stuff in. And I like to use the hammer. I like to stick it through one of the holes at the bottom of the of the vehicle of the crate. Sorry, because then it sort of holds a lot um, a lot of the stuff in place. So that's what I recommend doing. Um, just stick the crate back on there. It's a bit empty on the back. Um, and when you take when you take this off, it's just empty. And when you take the crate off, it's just empty inside as well. You can just see the axle. So that's the axle that turns the hammer. Um, but anyway, so that is my review on the uh, Harley Quinn uh, Bat Cycle, um, Harley Quinn's Hammer Truck. I recommend this set, but I don't recommend to buy it for $100. Um, I recommend you do a part out of the set, especially since the stickers are so expensive and you have stickers covering multiple pieces. So I recommend getting custom stickers. I actually got this really cheap, like for $50, and that's something that you can't pass up. If you find it for like $60 or less, I recommend just get it if it's the original stickers. But if it doesn't have the original stickers, then I recommend just do a part out of the set. The two mini things are kind of cheap, um, and you can see my fan in the background. I'll just... Yeah, so the two mini figs are pretty cheap. Harley is like seven dollars. I recommend you get her. Um, and this just wants to slip forward, does it? Okay. And then um, the Batman figure is also like seven, like six, seven dollars. I recommend you do a part out because these stickers are just peeling off and everything. Um, but it still is an amazing set if you have it. It's an extremely awesome set. You have some. You have a, a really amazing play feature on the hammer truck. And overall, a pretty good set. I'd have to give it probably like um, a 7 out of 10. Um, the re Some of it is because the bat cycle is really lame. Some of it is because the stickers on Harley Quinn's truck, some of them, like, they cover, like, multiple pieces. And these are, like, the main stickers on the truck. And actually, I for speaking of stickers, there's another sticker I forgot to show you, which is the bumper actually says, I love Joker on the back, which is, that's that's a really cool sticker. So yeah, that's just something that I forgot to mention, but these stickers cover multiple pieces, and it's really annoying, um, but the minifigs are great, and the hammer truck on its own is great, but thanks for watching this review, guys, please stay tuned for more Batman videos, because there will be tons of them coming, like I said, I have, um, tons more Batman sets, just missing a few minifigs, and once I get them, I will... Um, I want to get those minifigs, I will be able to review them, and of course, I still, like I said earlier in the video, I have another big lot of Batman coming with the minifigs, so you'll be able to get those reviews, but thanks for watching, guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one.